Mitoma! Mitoma! What's going on, people? It's Kai here, and I'm here with another episode of Terrace Talk by Standout Sport. Today, we're down at Selhurst Park to see the visit of Brighton at Crystal Palace. It's the M23 derby. Let's go. We've got three players. They're 18 years old. They're about to be break into the first team. Now, you can sign one, sell one, and lose one to a career-ending tackle. Wolf Saha, Ian Wright, and Michael Elise. What are you doing? Elise, keep. Might have to lose Wolf to a career-ending tackle. Oh, and, and sell righty. You sell righty, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Wolf is going to feel about that. Wolf, I do love you, man. I do love you. Keep Ian right. Sell Zaha and career ending injury to Elise. The players are Matomo, Glenn Murray, and Alex McAllister. What are you doing? I'm going for Matomo. You're going to sign Matomo? Yeah. Who are you going to sell? I'm going to sell maybe uh, McAllister. <laughs> sell McAllister. <laughs> So that means you're going to lose Glenn Murray to a career-ending injury. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Keeping Zaha, selling Ian Roy, and uh, losing Elise. Elise can't get a break today, can he? Gosh. I'm not being funny, though. Zaha is the biggest club legend. Elise got to go. Wolf. Ian. Selling Ian. Oh, gosh. Keeping Zaha. Who are you selling? Uh, Elise. And losing righty to an injury. Yeah, he's um, unfortunately, when he left us, he kissed the badge when playing for Arsenal, so he's a Judas. What is your most controversial football take? Racism. Racism? Racism how? There's too much of it in football. What do you think the sanction should be on like fans or clubs that are found guilty of racism? They should be given the option of being banned for a season or banned for life if they change their ways. Yeah, I don't think Chelsea will break top four this year or next year. I don't think they need to sign a striker. They ain't got anyone up front. So Chelsea are not going to break top four next year? Not, not next year either, nah. Ben Redfern, Chelsea are winning the league next season. I called it right now. Ronaldo's ruined his legacy. I was Ronaldo over Messi until he went, until he done that interview. I feel betrayed. Who's your favourite player of all time and why? Johan oh, Kaboy. Andy Johnson. I would say Kenny Dalglish. Favourite player of all time is Mila Jedinek. Palace, Wilf, all time, Neymar. Zaha. I'm 51 years old, there's too many to please from. One that brought a smile to your face. Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer. Shearer, you got one. Seagulls! Yes! Seagulls! Yamas Bosh! <laughs> Who's your favourite Brighton player right now? Of course, Mitoma. Mitoma, Kaoru! Yay! <laughs> We've got some Mitoma fans here with us. If you saw Mitoma walking down the street, Mitoma! 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 What do you think of Mitomo? Tin Tin Sa is sensual and this. And in English? Uh, he's a very talented player. Best player on the Brighton team right now? I think so. Like uh, you can see like uh, from this season, Mitoma played very well in the last three games. Yeah. He also got some great goals in some games. Yeah. Better than McAllister? Maybe McAllister better than him because uh, he won the World, World Cup. The last uh, in the December, yeah, last year. If you saw Matoma walking down the street, what would you say to him? If, if it's Mitoma, we say we love you, the man, the man. And if you saw McAllister walking down the street, what would you say to him? Absolutely the same. World Cup winner, we love him too. Right, so today I'm here with Charlie. Look, say hello. No. What do you think is happening with Wolf at the end of the season? Does he sign a new contract, or does he leave? Joe, how do you feel the game went today? Not great, but I'm, I'm happy we got a point. That'll do, yeah. I'm glad we got a draw. Yeah, no, happy with the point. We'll take a draw, right? Yeah, we'll take a draw. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, we'll take the draw over a loss. I would take it before the match as well, so. <laughs> oh, we'll take it. Take it. Yeah, actually taking it, yeah. I mean, I'm happy with the point. I think before the game, I would have taken a point. On the face of the game as well, I thought we were lucky to get a point. So overall, I'm happy. I think we got away with it. I think we could have won it there. Just feel like we was playing this sort of counter-attacking in the first half. Didn't really have the players to suit. Mateta, Elise, oh, you ain't really got the pace to bomb forward. So he was missing Wilfred. How did you feel coming into the game today? Felt like this is probably uh, uh, the good run was going to end because now it's uh, 1,445 days since Brighton beat the Palace. It's been years since they've been betting us. Absolute years. And apparently they're betting us now. And they play betting us every time, but they can't beat us. They just can't do us. 
Uh, Brighton a better team, but it's a big brother thing. We always sort of get the better of them. It's a big brother thing, you know. You know, you might be better than your big brother, but it's still going to beat you. And they didn't have the belief. Palace fans were giving it the bigger, and they said it's like you, we're the big brother. Palace fans being the big brother, you're the little brother. Doesn't matter what you will do, we're always going to be bigger than you. What's your response to that? Well, we're the older brother, certainly. We no, we're yeah, right. we're, we're 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 the nicer brother. We're the friendlier brother. We're the sweeter brother and we're the more cons considerate brother. That's it for me down here at Selhurst Park for another episode of Terrace Talk. We've been standout sport. It's been 1-1 one -one here between Brighton and Palace. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to all of our channels. We're on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. You know it, you name it, we're there.